Welcome to Anthony's Cross Street Garage. Still don't get all the roading done. I get that frame built back up. Lord, what do I gotta do? Why not get filming stuff? I like to film more of it, but <laughs> why? It's just weld, grind, weld, grind, weld, grind. I can get the other side together. I'll start filming again when I start putting the steering rack in. However, right now, I'm in the process of getting ready to move my shed. And I am throwing away some trash. And as you can see, she's uh, pretty full in there. Also, my two pickle, my main rod here. Need some work. I need to change oil in it. Change the transmission fluid. Change rear end fluid. Before I hook a trailer to it. So we're gonna go to a different location and get this done today. And get rid of this trash. And then I guess I'll go ahead and film while I'm working on the truck. All right, we're back to the truck here. I'm cheating today. I'm at a uh, shop here where we got a lift to do these services so I can get underneath her good and show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and raise the truck up, get it up in there, and we're going to start draining some fluids. And I think I got to check the U joint because I don't think it's any good. Shake the truck, bare port to fall, foot. Got six. All right, first we're going. First we're going to start on the rear end of this truck. We'll drain it. Uh, simple. Let's get a drain plug right in the bottom. Don't have to pull the rear cover. All right, on these 4080s, there's a bracket that covers up the bolts. Now Chevy, pull the Ford move. There's Torx bits on top. And usually you break your tool or they get stuck up here because it's aluminum and steel. I'll show you a trick here what I do to get them off. What we're gonna do is just bend this bracket out of the way so we can get to the bolts. Pop that off. At least you gotta get your uh, Shift cable out of the way. Sky retainer. Push pin on the one side. Push it. Unlock the other one. Get a wiggle down there. Get that out of the way. We'll come in here just with. Here, uh, crescent wrench. Here. Just bend that out of the way. There, you're on them both. Alright, good. Bolt, please. See if I can start getting fluids dripping. See if I can get this thing loose up. Make it a mess. Oh, here she comes.
There we go. I'm making too much of a mess. Well, as you can see, that fluid's not really the best. The paint's a little dirty. Now the old adage goes, if you can put the filter in that seal and it doesn't fall out, you don't need to replace it. Yeah, that's bullshit. Always replace this filter, but still. You get one every time when you get a transmission filter, put it in. I'm just going to start with a hammer. There, new seal installed. Easy. Do it. All right, now you can take this thing to the porch washer. Got some metal on our magnet. Good clean that off. And back to the porch washer. Now we can reuse this gasket because it's a thick rubber gasket with the metal in it. That's fine. Take your old filter and always compare it to your new one. Make sure it's correct. Some are deeper than others. And then and throw a couple bolts in it. Pretty is real good so we can get this drain pad out of the way so we can bolt this thing back up. Always start your bolts by hand. I don't care how good you are up again. All right, let's tighten it up. All right, we'll bolt it back up. Let's get it straight our piece back out. I did break the shift cable though. I like it, don't. That's back in place. This side back up in there. Snap it in, snap it in. All right, good. And lose your retainer. Retainer's lost. Yeah, here's my retainer. Slide it back in. I don't know if it's going to move on me or not. Since I break that plastic tab, I don't trust it. The metal staying in there, so I got to do a zippy fix. That should keep it in place. We'll just get drained oil in this thing. We'll be ready to start towing here. Well, looks like I might need to get a rear and cover. It's leaking a little bit. Let's get a pair and change oil there. Probably about the worst fluid there. That is black and watery and thin. Probably should have done that a long time ago. That's my first shot. Done too many old changes.
New old filter. I should have used the Wix. I didn't. Didn't realize I was looking at the Wix brand. Ooh, got a little bit of metal. A little bit of metal on her. Didn't know the Wix brand. Been around for eight, three years. Hasn't changed ownership been man and humble. Humble. Man humble. Oh man. I'm using STP. I guess Energizer owns STP or some nonsense looking up there. It'd be alright. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with the battery filter. Alright. I'm gonna clean all this nasty crap off here. Check my camera, make sure it ain't too covered in oil. Maybe a little bit. All right, filled my engine oil, six quarts for this 2006 six liter. Now, I'm filling the transmission. My um, all does not working. So, the internet says 7.5. I believe the internet knows. There, we'll start over with a little over six. There's six and a half. So we're gonna fit like 7.2 in it. And this is me just taking a pen for opinion from a random Google search. I quickly looked up. It has been a while since it's serviced the 4L80. Which takes forever for it to run down here. Now I'm gonna start it working through the gears. Now it's saying Mississippi pretty warm other than the cold fluid that it's done. Always check it when Chevy, check it in park. Check it when it's run. You usually want to check it in operating temperature. That ain't right where we need to be. All right, well, that was easy enough. Let's go ahead and back this out and get hooked to a trailer so we can get back to the house. I got it hooked up. Only problem is, since this is a two wheel pill, it does not have anything for the lights. So I gotta run to the port store and try to get something to plug in here so I'll have lights. <laughs> something for the brakes. So we'll get a port store and see what I can find. All right, went to my local port store. Don't even have that long of a trip. I just gotta get in the mountain here, but get the adapter here for my truck. Right now I have no light whatsoever on the back. So let's just kind of plug this in for now. And we'll actually bolt that all up when I have tools. Mally's truck. They didn't even come with a, a kit. They still have a factory connector. Some wires or something need to be turned on for the brakes. That's okay. Like I said, we don't really just, I just really want to get my lights working. 
Let's see, this plug's just straight in there. Same full mode. There we go. Now it's just going to dangle. Uh, we don't want to dangle, dangle. Look, it's like barely holding on. All right, yeah, start up here. Here's the uh, main cable. Sneak into this. Then we're gonna make it a little tight. So I like to work on this new trailer. Just a quick little plug in there. That way I don't get stopped by the cops. And this trailer is freaking heavy. I ain't kidding. Might as well. We'll go ahead and start the process of getting in the brake controller. What you got to get in that panel right there. The truck usually factory has some type of uh, connector that comes with it. But if you can't find it, make something here at the parts store. Well, I guess we'll wait for the brakes for later, too. Because it's been $91 <coughs> for this Hopkins fishing lure. And it's all dirty. It screws falling out and don't even have a connector on. So at least we got lights. We're safe that way. We'll go ahead and head her down the mountain. Well, we'll get all that trailer stuff hooked up here in a little bit. Or tomorrow, rather. <sighs> right now, we'll get back to this situation. I'm not going to record it because you've already seen this situation. It's the same thing you're on this side. And then I'll bring you back in when I start doing the rack and some other stuff finishing up. All right, well, get the Rambler loaded up. That came over and helped me. Got my wiring on metal this time so it just isn't dangling like it was i'm gonna take this to the shop i was at yesterday and drop it off and hopefully one night this week i can get the transmission out well you think they would go off the truck on the metal truck that didn't yeah you won't or just cold got the new brake controller installed so we'll be ready to get it here soon here and directly Unload we'll this and I don't know what we'll do from there. We're gonna get back on the uh, ram or not the rambler on the Studebaker. It's kind of the elephant that's in the garage. We are here oh boy. in an undisclosed location. See behind me, I got my Rambler. And what I'm going to attempt is try to put a Studebaker transmission in the same C Rambler, both same years. Allegedly, to read one sentence on a form, uh, they're supposed to be the same transmission. Uh, but 
Either way, the transmission's got to come out. It's not going in reverse. It only has one gear forward, so it's no good to me right now. So let's get started on here. We're good. Take off the kick down table. We'll go ahead and take off the kick down cable and then bolt the uh, dipstick tube. Gonna do a cool video of putting a fuel cell on this, but well, lost transmission in the driveway, which I guess it's a good place to lose it. Oh, it's a little bit harder to find my what tools to use because I'm working on my toolbox, working on my service truck that I don't really use all the time. There we go, just go ahead and break that clear off. That's loose. Take a quick look at this transmission. Well, the bell housing is definitely different, but I don't need that already. It's still on bolt. There's none on bolt. Well, it's not the same transmission. As I was hoping for, however, this transmission's trash. So what do I do? Let's see if we can't get this train drained here out the fill tube. Either way, this train's got to come out. smell that bad but I know it didn't come out of gear. I'm kind of corn fuggled back here. This does not have regular straps on it. There's nothing up here just a slip yoke. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I'm assuming I'm gonna do this. I don't know. Or do I take the U-joint out? Hmm. Right, I'm not sure how exactly it's supposed to come out. This is how I'm taking out this torque tube. Woo! I get the new one to come all the way out. We cannot get this thing out. I think it's coming. There we got her. That was getting junk anyhow. I don't think it's supposed to come out like that. I don't know if you can see her or not, but she's lined up. We're gonna go ahead and get her. There, right, she blows apart, what happens? Well, I got one cap knocked out. That one broke inside of it. It's gonna take you like that. Really? What you gotta do? You gotta knock the caps out. Wiggle the dry shaft out and then knock the other two it's out. It's gonna do it in the car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've never seen a well, wearing bike cap to be yeah. honest with you. I busted the one cap here. I guess I'll start working on these other caps now. <laughs> now these. Woo! Woo! Mine. Oh, it actually came. Good. Oh man, this really ain't supposed to come out this way. 
Ooh. Ha ha. Ooh, dry shaft out. Yeah, that was easy. Remember it? All right, all the bell, all the bell housing. Get all the uh, torque converter bolts out. Now I got to work on the bell housing. Speed it, okay? I'm gonna try to get all the top ones here first. All right, well I'm back up on top here. I gotta get to the starter down from down below, but. I gotta get the top bolt out. Which I don't even know how I didn't want to reinstall that if I do. Alright, that's that. Get back up. No, oh, get this last bolt out of this starter. That's pretty good time. I think I'm down to my last bolts. The one left here. One left right there. So I probably should better get some safety stands underneath of the car. And get a jack stand underneath it. Or a transmission jack. <laughs> I feel like this thing's going to lose stuff. Try to get these last two bolts. They're a different size. I think because they're more of a dial pin than they are bolts. <coughs> Maybe, I don't know. That's it, two bolts should be free, should be. Should be coming down out. This last bolt's always gonna be the toughest bolt. Oh, always goes. For me. <laughs> the yellow one can't do, get the red one.
This is cute. Oh, she's heavy still though. Well, there it is, it's out. Now, let's decide if I'm gonna rebuild it or start out with swapping it. Probably gonna rebuild it. I ain't got time to do all that right now, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's enough for this episode, show. Nonsense. Hey, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye. Only person who comments is my dad. What do you think, Dad? We build a tranny and put it back in, or go ahead and start doing a motor swap? I know what you're going to say. Probably, you're probably just going to say junk it. You can get down the mountain, blow it like a breeze. Count to roll, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama. Take me home, count the road.